Hello guys, Career 438 here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we got uh, stuff done. Not that much stuff, but we got some fruits. And that was kind of it. We did fight the um, the boss, or a boss. We fought the, um, the bug-eyed cromad. And in this episode, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some more fruit gathering. So yeah. Oh, it's raining again. So yeah. Also, when it rains, music plays. That's di music that plays from the. It's different from the original song. So yeah. It's kind of interesting. We also, in the last episode, observed that the water graphics in this game. Like, the water effects and the shine are really awesome because Wii U graphics for the win. Alright, now this is going to be right there. When you move a fruit from its original location, guys, it will always be in the same spot. Unlike in Pikmin 2, it, where, where, like, um, if you move, to, like, even if you move certain treasures, they go back to their original positions. Oh shit, wait, hold on guys. You actually have to do some with this puzzle in, if you want to get that data file, so... Just bear with me. I don't think we'll be doing this for the entire day, so yeah. Alright, um... Wait. Charlie's been... Oh, I don't know. Actually. Here, wait. You know what? Let's get some uh, Pikmin up here. You, this puzzle can be a little annoying, guys. You just gotta play around with it a little bit. And you shall prevail. I don't know if I've actually gotten far enough in Metal Arms by the time this video is going up, so... For any of you to get that reference, at least. There we go. Not that bad. Secret file four. Four, as the king would say. Dude, the king's awesome. All right. Don't don't give me shit. Like, don't actually give me shit and tell me that the king is not awesome. You know, um, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's the king from um. The from the Legend of Zelda CDI series, that's commonly used in YouTube poops. So, yeah. Alright, let me just look at the map. Using Go Here. But not actually. Sort of using Go Here, but... Alright, there's some treasures in the water area. There's a lot of treasures in the water area. Which we will be getting. There's the Armored Modads area. You can go back to the boss arenas, guys, but they there won't actually be uh, bosses for you to fight. So yeah, there's where we got Rock Pikmin. The nostalgia's real, guys. Okay, um... There's a fruit there, apparently. Oh, you know what, guys? We're gonna go there. Yeah, yeah, I, I know where... I know what it's talking about. It's across the bridge. But, eh, there's a bulb orb. Now I'm pretty sure, um, ah, okay. Um, now I'm pretty sure dwarf bulwarks no longer have the ability to wake up their parents. In fact, I think they lost that ability in Pikmin 2. No, 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 no. Oh, wow. Fucking piece of shit. I was trying to attack the eyes, but it wasn't working, and he got into our squad, so yeah. That kind of sucks. So let's throw... What are you guys doing? Jeez, y'all Pikmin, stop. You're not doing your jobs. Or you can raise up Pikmin when, um, I say you can. Basically, you can raise up your population only when I say you can, because dictator. Actually, I kind of should be bringing back the- you know what, actually, no. No. That's, um... Let them bring back the, that. I 
in there. So what we're gonna do is, there's a fiery blowhog here. And we're gonna wanna kill him. Oh wait guys. Steve, is that you? Okay, no. It, it can't be Steve, guys. I totally set him up, so. Hey, don't try to be Steve, guys. Don't try to be Steve. Oh, J uh, Joe Jr. Joe Jr. Oh, yeah, what's Joe Jr. going to be remembered for? You know what? He's probably going to be the, do, do the same, he's probably going to do the same thing as his daddy. You know, he's probably, I mean, he's probably, he, he has the same genes, guys, so. Then again, Pikmin don't reproduce, um, sexually. So, yeah, I mean, that kind of, uh, conflicts with our theory there. So then do they still have jeans? I think they do, but I'm not sure. But anyways though, um... Here, since we're raising up some tech, I may as well give you that. Alright, hold on guys. Just checking for uh, fruit. Oh yeah. Also, guys, I don't. I never mentioned this. I never actually mentioned this. But go here doesn't actually reduce. Go here doesn't. When you're in go here, guys, it doesn't actually count towards the time in the day. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. There's no rush when you're using go here. The game time completely stops. So yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is, I am going to, oh wait, hold on. Alright, so, I'm going to put away some yellow Pikmin, and some rock Pikmin, some red Pikmin. Gonna get out some blues. I guess we don't really need that many wings Pikmin, so we're going to get out 40 blues. We're just changing our numbers here. Because, uh, GG. No, because we need blue Pikmin. So anyways, we need to do stuff. I'm gonna give Charlie some screen time, by the way. He'll lead this expedition. Oh, spectral it. There we go. The what? Oh, yeah, um... Actually, I may have mentioned that, but just in case you guys don't remember, the white ones won't actually give anything. We just have the wings picking with us, guys, so that um, if we need to, we can, um, you know, we can use them. Oh yeah, by the way, there's another bug-eyed chromat here. We will be fighting him, guys, so yeah. Oh my gosh, and eh, we're glitching under him. Half of the day. Anyways, um, uh, there's some bridge fragment. Oh, there's some fragments here. Not bridge fragments, actually. But yeah. Fragments nonetheless. Here's some, uh, spuddlefish and a waddle puss. You know, we're actually going to take this guy out. Because why not? Eh, no! Oh, see, that's his attack. So we showed it, so I showed that off. Getting wrecked. Buddy, you gotta get wrecked, alright? Can't uh, allow this. Oh yeah, it's also a useful thing to target his, to target his eyes. You know, I probably should have been doing that like yesterday. Oh yeah. Um, anyways, 
Gotta start uh, killing him. Shoot him. Kill him. Shoot him. Oh. Alright, and he's dead. GG. And he drops. What is that? I think it's a searing. Eh. It's a little hard to see. Whoa, they were. Oh my gosh, guys. Did you just see that? Did you actually just see that? They were carrying it over him. That, that's, that's, that, that's one for the books, guys. That is one for the books. You do not see that every day. You do not see that every day. He was carrying... They were carrying the fruit over the boss, guys. They were carrying it over a corpse. Pikmin never do that, guys. Pikmin never, ever do that. So, yeah, I said that there weren't necessarily fragments... No, uh, bridge fragments carrying... That, that they were carrying back, bleh. Because, um, it was actually just, um, fragments of something else. It's like an underwater house or something. Yeah, it was a, sear a searing acid shock, as you can see. Maybe it can, maybe it can't, I don't even know. Depends on how well your eyesight is, but you should be able to see it. And if you can, great. If you can't, well, that kind of sucks. That really does, actually. I hate the idea of being blind, by the way. Like, literally blind. Or deaf. Like, it's just scary. Like, your senses are... Your five senses are very precious. I kind of feel like if you lose just one of them, especially, um... Sight and, um... And, uh, hearing, I feel like if you lose those, then it's kind of just over. You lose an aspect of life that you can enjoy. Like, if you lose your hearing, you can't listen to, like, nice music. What's this? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Next time on Pikmin 3. So we're gonna be editing off, so we're gonna be editing off here, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Not actually. I would never end the day in the middle of the day. Besides, there's still much, much more we can do. So this guy right here is the Toady Bloister. Who I actually went up to in this area. You attack him the same way with, by hitting his tail. Uh, he actually has a good attack in this game. He can emit poison, which your blue Pikmin aren't actually immune to. He still has the tongue attack, I think. Does he? Oh, 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 yeah, he still has the tongue attack, guys. And I actually lost Pikmin to one of them. That's a uh, two. Oh my gosh. It's a little disgraceful. Especially since these guys are really easy to kill. Oh my gosh. Eh. Wait, where are all the Pikmin I'm leaving behind? Wait, hold on. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just like with last time, guys. They're all fucking over there, so. Over there! This is not a good idea, actually. Oh, well, I mean, they're not too far. You know what? We're gonna have Alf get them. Or Brittany. No, wait, no, not, not you, not you, not you. Eh! I'm so sorry for almost putting your, for putting your life in danger. His life is flashing before his eyes, guys. I have no excuse. And they're building this. It's cool, guys. I'll call them back before the day ends. I got this. I got this. I got this, guys. I got this. Trust me. So we're almost done building this thing. So it's kind of like a little house. Almost. Cause like you can go inside it. It's like some undersea thing. It's almost like uh, an ancient civiliz that from. It's also it's almost like that from an ancient civilization. 
like a home or something, you know? So yeah, we had two deaths because I was trying to show off the Toady Bloicer tongue attack and it wrecked me. Or wrecked my Pikmin actually, not me. But it's kind of like you being wrecked, guys. I mean, if you're losing Pikmin, you feel... There's the feeling that you're gonna get wrecked, guys, so yeah. Aim before, disperse the squad while it's on the zero. No, that doesn't actually... That, that, that will not ever actually happen unless you intend to do it. Or unless your nunchuck's like really sensitive somehow, but anyways. We're just gonna skip it. Oh, we got a new fruit. Astringent Clump. This name makes no sense. Maybe because it's yellow or something. But astringent can be all, all kinds of colors. I have blue astringent, for example. But anyways. Yeah. Well, here's my cat. Chloe, not now. Chloe. Chloe, I love you too, but I'm recording right now. My cat's been very, um... Very attached to me lately. I feel. Better not jump on the no, Chloe. Get off. Tissue box. I gotta have to cut this part out. Alright. I feel like she's gonna hurt me, guys. I feel like she's gonna hurt me, but that's just me being paranoid. I'm always paranoid about this kind of stuff. It's just me. Alright, you know guys? I, I have to stand up. My tummy is grumbling, and it's all because of that hoquetation. I hope you guys can still hear me. Chloe is taking over the fucking ottoman here. Oh, he come on, get off this thing. Oh, no, oh my gosh, she's taking my seat, she's taking my seat. No, not, not today, Chloe. I have to play standing up, guys, I have to play standing up. Which I won't actually do, I'll try to get her off, off screen. Anyways. Maybe I can lure her with, like, some food or something, I don't know. Careful observation of the blue pick when revealed that they have the, the ability to swim as well as attack in the water. The way they open their mouths is so cute, but I think that is their way of extracting oxygen from the water. They appear to be openings on their cheeks that resemble gills. As a matter of fact, they are gills. At least I'm pretty sure. So yeah. So yeah, oh guys, we're on day 21, okay, but anyways guys, um, we, we got more stuff done, and um, yeah, um, we're gonna be, get, we're gonna be getting even more stuff done next time guys, um, there's actually three fruits left, and we're just gonna be clearing out more of the area, and um, doing more stuff overall so yeah um next time on pikmin 3 we'll be doing just that so see you guys then